Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to your daily Bible verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Quinice Petway, and after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Ecclesiastes 3 1. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. Today's Bible verse is Ecclesiastes 3.1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Nature has a way of reminding us of some beautiful lessons, particularly when we think of seasons. When we transition from the sweltering days of summer with the parched land and droughts in some places to the brisk fall mornings as the leaves begin to change colors and take their rest on the ground, to the ice-cold winters with pristine snow and the renewing of spring with colorful, blossoming flowers. We are reminded that seasons change. And just as seasons change in our natural environments, the same is true with life. Our verse of the day, Ecclesiastes 3.1, reminds us of this. And let's, let's talk about Ecclesiastes for a minute. The book of Ecclesiastes is actually part of the wisdom literature in the Bible. It was likely written by Solomon, but there are some scholars who believe otherwise. The book talks about life, not wasting life, and finding meaning. Today's passage in particular reminds us of the repetition of life. So the patterns, cycle, trouble and evil. There is good and bad, negative and positive experiences throughout our journeys, um, but there are patterns. And just as we see floods, tornadoes, earthquakes, and droughts, we also witness sunny 75 degree perfect weather days. Our verse of the day vividly paints this picture. And once again, it says, to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. And so season, what does that word mean? It is the Hebrew word zaman. It means an appointed time, a time, a set time. Everything remains only for so long. All things are frail and fleeting. So translation, this reminds us nothing is permanent. This can give us hope when we find ourselves feeling like the not so pleasant seasons that we're in will last forever. So if we're in a season of transition where we are having to let go of a relationship, or we just got the pink slip at work, or we may have just been told we had a grim diagnosis that we might feel like, hmm, this season might last forever. But we're reminded here with this passage that seasons change. Conversely, we may be in a season of joy, right? And so we want to savor those joyous moments, whether it's a new birth of a child or a new relationship, a new marriage, a new job. So the opposite of those things that we talked about in our not so pleasant season. We just learn to savor those seasons either way because we know that seasons change. Verses two through eight elaborate further on the seasons. And once again, this is in Ecclesiastes chapter three. It talks about there's a time to give birth and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot what's planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to shun embracing, a time to search and a time to give up as lost. A time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear apart and a time to sew together, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. 
And so once again, we see these examples of times and time is synonymous in this context with season and the seasons changing and there being appropriate time for each season in life. So just like we know that winter, spring, summer, and fall come around every year at varying degrees, depending on where we are in the world, although things change, another lesson this passage shows us is that they also stay the same. There is some repetition. There is some predictability in life. And so while we might not understand fully the reasons for the seasons that we are in, we can allow our faith, hope, and trust in God to kick in, knowing that he is in control. Ecclesiastes 3.14 says, I know that everything God does will remain forever. There is nothing to add to it, and there is nothing to take from it. For God has so worked that men should fear him. This verse gives us hope. Once again, it reminds us that we can trust God and reverence and esteem him despite the seasons of life that we are in and because of the seasons of life that we are in. He is in control no matter what we are facing. And ultimately, whatever season we are in, he is wanting us to seek him and long for him. So what season do you currently find yourself in? How does that season feel? Are you cherishing the season or longing to shift to the next one because the season is kind of uncomfortable? What beauty and lessons can you find regardless of your current situation? Let's pray, friends. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for reminding us that there is a time and season for everything, regardless of the seasons that we find ourselves in. Help us to see you. If we're in a season of mourning, remind us that dancing is on the other side. If we're in a season of waiting, remind us that your promises will be fulfilled. If we're in a season of joy, help us to cherish these precious moments. Thank you for all seasons of life and continue to remind us that no matter what situation or circumstance we find ourselves in, you are for us, with us, in us, and for that we are truly grateful. In the name of Jesus, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com or call 800-996-9969.